so yeah so we neutralized it uh, waiting for the rust rust remover to dry now and um, instead of using filler over it I'm going to try and use some hot or some rather cold weld um, and just use it like filler and just fill the little holes up and then we will go from there hi right we've um, repaired the bumper as best we can get it but I'm um, not entirely happy with it I mean we actually used this stuff which is okay but it's not it doesn't look like chrome but it hasn't blended in too bad with the rest of it but the bumper is pretty rough right along actually so trying to source a new one would be a nightmare I think so we might have to live with it for the moment there is an option to run it without a bumper and uh, we'll show you what we, we intend to do later hi and welcome back um, you meet us on a miserable gloomy wet day and it's been raining all day and where we are half out Bob more you can't see a damn thing but the mist anyway um just a quick update on where we are we've uh, got to the stage where we're putting it all back now so we've cleaned all the um, auxiliaries rocker shaft gear carburetor everything's been cleaned and we're now looking at the cylinder head and what we found eventually was that um, some of these some of the inlet valves were dodgy very badly pitted so we were lucky enough to source um, a set of inlet, inlet valves on on the internet on eBay uh, source valves I managed to grind back um, lapping back in okay and they seem to be fine so stage is now we have now finished the cylinder head and it's ready to go back on and we'll be um, we'll be filming a bit more as we go okay thanks for watching and we'll see you soon